Hi everyone, this is Ravi. Welcome to Tricentis Tasca Advanced Training. As you all know, I have already published 54 YouTube videos covering beginners, intermediate and advanced level concepts. From couple of sessions onwards, I have started teaching you real-time scenarios where you might encounter different obstacles while automating your test cases and how can we solve those obstacles while automating your test cases so this is our lesson 55 in terms of overall tricentis tosca training and this is our lesson 13 or it's obstacle 13 in terms of real time scenarios please do subscribe to the channel click on bell icon you'll receive notifications whenever i publish more videos thank you this lesson, I am going to teach you a real time scenario where you need to extract the random numbers from a lengthy text string by using named group method within regular expression. So, now let us see how can we solve for this obstacle. Let us first understand what is the obstacle in detail. So this is our next obstacle named, named as tough cookie and categorized as hard. So let us go for it. So here the obstacle is, obstacle is random text string. So this particular text box generates a random text string as soon as you click on it. So the first edit box displays a random text that includes three large numbers. Extract the numbers from the string and enter each into the according text box. Let's see here. As soon as I click on this first text box, I can see there are three large numbers. This is my first large number and this is my second large number and this is my third large number. What I need to do? I need to extract my first large number and enter into the first edit box and second large number extract this enter here and third large number extract from this and enter in the third edit box so that's the challenge let's see how we can solve for this so let us go to Tricentis Tosca so as usual so we are going to capture all the test objects under folder called obstacles right so this is where we are capturing all the objects for each obstacle i'm going to use the same folder so what i'm going to do here right click on obstacles folder select scan application And this is the application that I would like to capture, right? Scan the application. Here, I would like to capture the objects. What are those objects? My first text box, second, third, fourth. There are four different text boxes. So here, click me to reveal. That is my first text box. And then, enter first number. This is my second text box. So, all these objects are getting uniquely identified. You can see here the selected item is unique. And third one, the selected item is unique. The same way, fourth one. So, four objects we captured. Now, let us copy this obstacle name so that we can name the module with the obstacle name here. Paste it here. Okay. Now, you can save this module and then close X scan. If you go back, if you go back to Tricentis Tosca, so this is the obstacle that we captured just now. Okay, let's see here. So you click me to reveal. So we have total four edit boxes. So now let's go to left panel where we have a test cases. So select this obstacles folder and here, here we are automating all the test cases right under this obstacle 
right click and then select create test case and name this with the same name that we captured obstacle name double click on this particular test case now to automate your test case first we need to drag the module that we captured onto the test case what should we do first our first step is you need to click on this text box to generate the random text okay for that here what i'm going to do here i simply enter click okay and then your action mode should be input right so once you click on this now you need to extract only you need to extract only number portions my first number second third for that i need to add the module one more time let's drag this module and drop on to the test case one more time because i need to use this text box again so that's why what i'm going to do here here to extract the text large number text in three different groups we need to use regular expression and number grouping so let's let me show you the regular expression that i would like to use so this is very big regular expression so i already copied the regular expression but don't worry i'm going to explain this regular expression in detail okay so this is my regular expression i'm using regular expression and this cap symbol is your regular expression starts from here dot star question mark this is any text i'm considering any text i mean any string right and then here is my first number group where i'm actually capturing that first number to a buffer called number 1 and what is that number format my number format is 0 to 9 and then i'm concatenating it so that's why i'm using plus and then again after number you will have some text again right so that's why i'm denoting it as dot star question mark and then my second number group will start so that represents number 2 because i am extracting number 2 and storing it to a buffer called number 2 and what is the format of number 2 0 to 9 and concatenate it and then again you will have a text random text so that's why dot star question mark and then you have a third number group i'm storing that number into a number 3 buffer and the format is 0 to 9 concatenate it and then again you will have a text any text right it can have any text and your dollar symbol is end of your regular expression beginning of regular expression is cap dollar is end of your regular expression that means end of your text let me go back to a presentation and let me explain in detail again what is this regular expression so here you can see at the bottom i have a regular expression okay regex this is the method that we use for trisant test task and you can see here cap symbol this asserts the position at the start of the string that means this is my first start of the string that means this is the start of the string and then dot star question mark this matches any character except for the line terminator that means except it don't con except your next line It's going to consider only the text that is in the same line, okay? And then from here, question mark number one zero to nine. This represents this is a named capturing group that matches one or more digits from zero to nine. The captured digits are stored in a group named number one. This is your buffer. Again. you have dot star question mark again this matches any character zero or more times right and then again number 2 group 
So another named capturing group that matches one or more digits, which is 0 to 9. And then you have text one more time. This matches any character 0 to 2. This matches any character 0 or more times. And then you have number 3 named group. Number 3 named capturing group. And then star. And then dot star question mark and dollar symbol. So this matches any character 0 or more times. Up to the end of the string. So dollar represents your end of the string. Now let's go back to Trisantis Tosca. So now, once we extract three different grouped numbers, three different number groups, now it's time for us to enter into the text box. So here, we need to enter in these text boxes the three grouped numbers. So now, here, this is my first group. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to call a buffer because I'm storing into a buffer called number one. So I'm calling buffer number one. Close click, close square brackets. I'm sorry. Num buffer number one. So whenever you call a buffer, open curly braces, capital B, close square braces. Sorry, open square braces. Your buffer name, close square braces, close curly braces. The same way, number two, open curly braces will be open square braces number two close square braces close curly braces then again number three which is capital B number three is my buffer close square braces close curly braces now let us save this particular test case and change the work state as completed right now let me try let me run and see whether it works or not okay right click and run in scratch book so it is failed let us see why the test case is failed. Okay, let's go back to our Tricentis task to see what is wrong with the script. Here I can see input is not supported for regular expression values. I understand now. So if you see here, I'm using regular expression. I cannot use action mode input. I have to use action mode verify. What it does is going to verify the entire text. And it extracts the numbers into these buffer groups. Okay, so now let's so now let's save this script. Let me try running the script one more time. See, it clicked on this and it entered all three number groups are are all three large numbers into the corresponding edit box you solve this automation problem so hope you all understand the concept of extracting the number groups from a large text by using number group and the regular expression if you have any queries leave your queries in the comment box i'll try to respond to your Peace.